Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. All right, this is another one. Okay, on this one it says INEC issues of Baseki certificate of return. Okay, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has presented a certificate of return to Godwin Obaseki as the elected governor of Edo State. Obaseki and Philip Shaibu, his deputy, both of whom contested in the state governorship election under the People's Democratic Party PDP, were presented with the certificate in Edo on Tuesday. The commission had declared him the winner of the Saturday poll after he got the highest votes. May Agbamuche MBU INEC South South National Commissioner, who presented him with the certificate, said Obaseki fulfilled all the constitutional requirements to emerge winner of the election. The governor was re-elected after securing 307,955 votes across 18 local government areas, while Osage Ize Iyamo, candidate of the All Progressive Congress, came second with 223,619 votes. The PDP candidate who will begin his second term in office in November 2021 in 13 local government areas, while Ize Iyamu won in five local government areas. Total vote casted was 550,242, while the total number of valid votes in the election was 537,000. 407 and rejected votes was 12,835. Ize Yamu is yet to concede the election, though, after the results were announced, he hinted at challenging the outcome in court, saying his supporters were disenfranchised, but his party has since accepted the results. The APC leadership described the outcome as a victory for democracy and asked Ize Iyamu to congratulate Obaseki. Wow, congratulatory messages every now and then in the house of Obaseki. Wow, I think I want to use this medium to congratulate the Edolites for this achievement because the achievement is not only for godwin obaseki as i speak right now because a lot of people are happy and they are happy that they voted for their choice though we heard a lot of rumors that these people were given money and some people collected that money they spent the money yet they still voted for their choice candidate which is the pdp so <laughs> the whole thing the way the whole thing has been sounding and all that i will tell you that since i've been hearing of election this election was the highest that actually touched the heart of people that actually that actually shook the old nation you can imagine wow the it's, it's a very good thing anyway and um, as it is a lot of people are commending governor Gordon Obaseki on this one in fact it pays to be straightforward that is what i have seen to this and the reason why i have said that is you no know, during the debate uh, if you notice very well if you listen very well uh the debate between governor godwin obaseki and pastor sage ize yamu you will see the way pastor sage ize yamu was tackling obaseki the way he was tackling him that you that had three credits without English and mathematics, how did you enter school? You can imagine. But from that level, I'm very sure, apart from, I know a lot of people fell in love with Godwin Obaseki with the way he responded to those questions. In fact, from there, that was when I was like, wow, so this man is this brilliant, smart. Because the way you know, he was answering the question, you know that this man knows what he's doing. You can imagine. He was so articulate, so eloquent. In fact, he was dishing it out. In fact, when um, Pastor Osage Yamu was tackling him, 
the way Pastor Osage Izeyamu was dishing out his words, you will like, wow, does this man want to fight? Does he want to fight on the stage? But with everything, Governor Baseki was just so calm. He was so calm. He was just listening. He was smiling. Do you know what that means? He was smiling that, ah, this guy doesn't know how far. He doesn't know how far. Don't worry, I will answer you. I will give it out to you. You want to know? Okay, maybe because you don't know. Oh my God, as in the way Governor Baseki was just smiling and when he wanted to answer his question, oh my God, this man answered brilliantly. I mean, brilliantly and humbly, you know, because one thing about uh, this so-called thing is if you are sure, if you know what you are doing, don't you get it? If you are sure of yourself, you don't need to shout. That is it. No wonder they said that uh, the empty barrel made the loudest noise. No, you don't need to shout. He's sure for the guy die. Because the way he was, he, the way he answered the question, he talked about his A-level resort. You know, you can imagine. It was like, then there was no jump. You, this man was just, you no know, giving it out. In fact, what I saw and what a lot of people saw in that aspect was that Obaseki had prepared for them. I, I could hear some voices, you know. I could hear some voices from the background hailing him. Yes, oh, yes, oh. You, you can imagine that kind, that kind of motivation when you are talking people will now be motivating you yes speak on you no know, like the way we used to do in church ride on pastor ride on pastor you understand that was the way it went i was like wow but another thing that baffled me was when pastor sage izeyamu was you no know, tackling god in obaseki on stage i could see yes some people motivating Pastor Sage is a yam. Yes, ride on, Pastor, ride on. Oh, God. This is this is a game of politics indeed. That is why I always you know advise my friends, everybody around me, even my younger ones, that in anything you are doing in life, try as much as possible to be straightforward. This so that you will be able to back a lot of things up. In the in the case of God in Obasekina. He was because he, he believes himself. What are you talking about? Why would somebody who had never went to school be tackling people that really actually went to school? That was it. that was his response. Only that one, eh? A lot of people were like, What? Oh this guy is sure for and die. <laughs> well, that is it, my people on this one. The Yorubas we say. Ah, nearly Dubai law and ye in your me. You understand? <laughs> All right, that's it, my people, on this one. Meanwhile, let me have more takes from you on this one. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.